Hi guys! Today I'm reviewing the Aroma 6 cup rice cooker and food steamer. The unit measures about 6.5 inches tall and 10 inches wide. The included cup is what you use to measure your rice. This is basmati rice and the cup holds 5 ounces to the top or about 141 grams. There are markings for 3 quarter, half and a quarter cup on this measuring cup. Now this unit is sold as a six cup rice cooker as I said earlier but the six cup means six servings so the maximum you can put in here dry is three cups of rice in the measuring cup. The rice cooker comes with a tempered glass lid, non-stick inner pot, steam tray, serving spatula and the measuring cup. The instruction manual has rice and water measurement tables for brown rice and white rice and steaming tables for vegetables and meat. There are also a few recipes. With this unit you can cook rice alone, vegetables alone using the steam tray, or rice on the bottom and vegetables on top at the same time. To cook both rice and vegetables at the same time, take the vegetables out after the amount of time that you want to cook, then continue cooking the rice. You can also cook soups and stews in this pot, but it's not automatic. The unit only switches to keep warm when all the liquid is boiled away. Of course you want liquid in soups and stews, so you have to check the pot occasionally and turn off manually when it's cooked. Before you start cooking, make sure the inner pot is dry on the outside. Always use the included measuring cup to measure your rice. There's markings inside for rice and for the amount of water to pour. If you're putting in two cups of rice, you'll see that the corresponding water line is 0.4. So you just pour in water up to the 0.4 line. For three cups of rice, it's 0.6, and for one cup is 0.2. So after you put the rice and water in, we'll cover it, plug it in. To begin cooking, you press the cook switch down, and the rice cooker is automatically going to switch to keep warm once the rice is ready. When the rice is cooked, the cook switch just flips up. I'll go ahead and add my one cup of rice that was measured in the included cup. I have rinsed this rice. And I'm going to add water to the 0 0.2 line. Put the lid on. Plug in the machine. Press the cook switch down you'll see that the indicator light is on. The unit has gone into a keep warm mode. It's been just about 20 minutes. Open the lid and stir the rice. As you can see, the rice is cooked. It's cooked perfectly actually. Nothing has stuck to the bottom. There is a uh, layer of brown crispiness on the bottom here. You can see that. There's no automatic shut off for the machine so I'll just go ahead and unplug it. In the front half of the cooker the bottom of the rice had a thin um, layer. It was a little crispy. It's a little golden brown. And on the back half here, the bottom of the rice was moist. There was no um, brown color at all. It was just white and moist. So the bottom doesn't cook that evenly. I'm just going to taste the rice. The rice is just cooked. It's not mushy. It's not overcooked. It's a decent job for such an inexpensive machine. Now I'll cook some green beans in this unit. I'm pouring in one cup of water. Put the steaming tray on top and use two cups of frozen green beans as measured in a glass measuring cup. Just spread that evenly. Put the cover on. Plug in the unit and press down to cook. When you're steaming you have to check the vegetables or meat or whatever it is that you're cooking. According to the steaming table green beans should take about 15 minutes. I'll set my timer and check the beans in 15 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. I'm just gonna check the beans on the top here. They're not done. I'm just gonna leave them alone. I'll check back in five minutes. It's been five minutes for a total of 15. Check the beans. Check to see if it's cooked. 
looks just tender. The vegetables are all pretty evenly cooked. They're crisp tender. When you're steaming vegetables, you do want to remove the vegetables right away after it's finished. Don't leave it in the pot, otherwise it's going to overcook. The handles do stay cool, so you can grab the steam tray by the handles. The pot is of course hot, so don't touch the pot. Remember, you have to unplug the unit. There is no automatic shut off. I stirred my beans once because they were frozen. And as you can see, there are some beans in the water. Um, there are holes, of course, in the steam tray and they're kind of big. So make sure you don't put any tiny pieces of vegetables in the steam tray. All the parts are dishwasher safe or just soak them and hand wash them. Don't use anything abrasive on the unit. The outside can be wiped with a damp cloth and all the parts should be dry before using. If you want to try out this Aroma 6 cup rice cooker, I've put a link in the description below. If you found this review helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more reviews, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.